tutorial, I'd like to talk about vignettes. Now, vignettes are ways of basically taking out the edge of a screen which is too bright. Now, you can clearly see that this side of the screen we've got this horrible bright blob, and really we'd want to get rid of that. We could theoretically scale the whole thing a bit and move it over. That's one way of dealing with it. But another way would be to put in a vignette that would darken down particularly this side of the screen. Now, classically, vignettes would have, say, something in the middle, and you darken around the edges, the corners. Effectively saying to the people who are looking at your video, don't look at the corners, there's nothing to see here, look at the main action. But if I created a circular or an, or an elliptical vignette for this particular one, I would actually be cutting into my man's head here and losing some of the action, whereas this side, clearly, we want to darken down because it's distracting having this very bright object over this side. So I'm going to show you how to create two types of vignette, one with the circle effect and the other one by using a garbage mat. Both of them are going to require us to create black video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my work area here. So I'm going to go to Window, Workspace, Reset, Current Workspace. And yes, I do want to change it back to its original. There you go, we're back at its original. And the first thing I need to do is create some black video. So black video is created through the new items icon. Click that and do black video because my vignette is going to be black. I want it to be the same size as the sequence, so yes. There is my black video. I actually want it to be in my footage folder, but at the moment we'll leave it where it is. Just going to drag it and drop it on video layer 2. So at the moment all I have is black video. I'm now going to select black video and I want to use the circle effect. Now to find that I'm going to go to my effects tab. Bear in mind we're still in the color correction workspace. So the effects tab is up here. Click the effects tab and then start typing circle. C-I-R-C -I and then before long I've got to video effects generate circle. Grab hold of that, or if you've got the layer selected, which I do, double click and it applies it to the piece of footage. And there you go. We've got a white circle, it's overwritten the black video in actual fact, on that particular layer. So the first thing we want to do is we want to invert the circle. We don't want the circle going out, we want the whole thing to be black all the way around the circle, so we can just click invert give it a minute and it gets there and we need to change the color we actually want the color to be black so I'm just going to click in the color swatch and go up to the top left hand corner here and click OK and now it's black next thing we want to do is increase the radius so I can pull the radius right out and more and even more and perhaps just a little bit more until we're getting to roughly where we want to be so that's more like a classical vignette of course this is a circle and not an ellipse in actual fact it would be slightly better if it was an ellipse but seeing it's a circle we'll have to go with that so that's kind of the basics of an ellipse but obviously you can see at the moment that the edges are extremely sharp so that's when we go to the feather tab and we start to pull out the feather and as we start to feather it the edges start to become a lot softer and so there we've got 122 and we've got the feather around the edge so that's kind of a vignette but we're still not there because the other thing we need to do is just reduce the opacity of the vignette so we can go up to the motion tab up here, up to the video effects, and we've actually got opacity directly below it. We can open up opacity. Now opacity, please note, is already animated. So if you change it more than once, you're going to get a change in opacity, which is going to animate over time. I don't want it to animate over time, I just want to set opacity. So I tend to turn off the stopwatch in case I change opacity when I've moved my current time indicator and end up with some kind of animation. So I've turned off the stopwatch, and I can turn down the opacity level, say 30%, too much, go up, back up to say 50, which has just given us a subtle edge, and now we can see what it looks like by turning off the layer. So here's the black video layer, so we can turn the eyeball off, before, after, before, after. And you can see that that vignette has actually quite successfully got rid of this edge, well at least it's not quite as visible or quite the intrusion that it was before. But there is a better way of doing vignettes and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you the 8 point garbage mat and in fact there is a 16 point garbage mat to do the same thing but to create more of a custom vignette that stops us having this problem of actually eating into our actor, eating into the talent over here and really we're very concerned about making this area a lot darker and leaving this area pretty much untouched.